Go on, Kieran. Have a go, son. Have a go. Laz, just quickly before we jump into the video, a couple things. Firstly, a lot of you already know about my football boot giveaway we are running. All you have to do is make sure you come over to my Twitch while I live stream daily. Come get involved. And second of all, a lot of you have been screaming for me and CP to link up again, which is going to happen. But for now, we're going to be running games of Warzone. Who knows what else over on the Twitch stream as this video goes live. So everyone watching this, click the link, come through. Me and CP are going to be running it up. Come get involved. Ask both of us questions. We'll both be reading chat and just, yeah, get involved. With that being said, though, let's get into the video. I can't lie, I've accidentally cut this geezer up, yeah. And he's followed me into the garage, I'm so sure of it. I don't want to look over to him. He's not over on my left, like over there. Fucking hell. I'm scared, man. So I'll get out, he's got out of his car. Oh, fuck, he's in the garage. He's in the garage! He's in the garage! I need to go in there and get my bloody drink. Oh, chat, I'm such a I've just been to the gym, boys. I've just been to the bloody gym, I'm pumped. He's gonna have one look at this boy, see, and just walk the other way. Bro, he's, in a, he's got a white van. I could be in the back of that van in T minus 60 seconds. F it, we're going in. We bet, boys, we are back in a toasty old car. It is freezing outside, bro. It is actually cold. I actually forgot what English non-league football is like this time of year. Games getting called off left and right. Training getting canceled. It's honestly, on a real talk right now, it's actually pretty tough. I recently obviously got back from Spain and I kind of went through that same experience that I did when I got released as a pro at Norwich, where I went from being at a full-time club out in Spain to going back to the part-time schedule, man. And I get so many DMs about, can I still make it if I'm not in an academy or not at a full-time club? And this whole experience has kind of reminded me of how tough it can be to keep moving in a forward direction during the winter when pitches are frozen, training's getting called off and you're already on a part-time schedule. Now my answer to that question is of course yes, but this whole experience has just reminded me of how self-motivated you have to be during these times to go out to the pitch when it is freezing cold to make sure you are doing your own individual training sessions around your team's part-time schedule all you normally ballers out there you can 100 relate to this it's super easy to have an excuse not to train even on the days you don't have your own training because sometimes you've got two matches a week saturday tuesday training thursday every single other day of the week you've got something the next day whether it's training or a match coming up or you've just had a match the day before and it's really easy just to, to go through the weeks, months, without actually doing anything extra. I'm waffling, boys, but I don't know, man. It was my 24th birthday the other day, right? And I've just posted this picture on Instagram, this body transformation. Sick! You look awesome, Igzy! The thing is, we all know of Instagram, you only, see, you only see the better part of people's lives. And I feel like I'm kind of guilty of this with this recent post. You can see on the screen the body transformation. It is a pretty sick one, but I'd be lying if I was saying this is exactly how I'm looking right now. It's not like I've gained 10 kg or something, but coming back from Spain, the struggle to find a club, the contract problems, the, the, the bad weather, there's just loads of excuses really, but it's difficult. And this long story cut short, I've just been reminded how self-motivated you have to be as a non-league baller someone that's not in an academy or someone that's on a part-time schedule to keep working and to keep pushing. Fuck, you know, Igzy, you just waffled on a lot there, mate. Anyway, boys, I've literally just finished a gym session. I can't lie. Tomorrow we've got a game. I don't know what the highlights are going to be saying. Hopefully you can see from the title we've scored another goal, maybe a couple of assists. Who knows? I'm really enjoying my football though, man. Like, I know we just spoke about not being in the peak, peak condition. I'm working hard towards it. Now I'm, I'm kind of getting my routines built up back in England, back home. You're going to be seeing a lot more videos from me also so for now enjoy these highlights lads enjoy these highlights and know that in the future very very soon you're going to be seeing two plus videos a week more of what i'm doing in the gym my individual sessions and stuff thank you again for all the support it's actually sick 
And don't forget, if you want to enter the football boot giveaway, come over to my Twitch. I stream daily on there. Come ask me any questions. Whatever you want to do and get entered into the giveaway, the link's in the description. That being said, let's get into the highlights. All right, so boys, we're going to jump straight into the highlights. I played left wing predominantly this game and then moved to like left wing back towards the end. You can see here we take it on our chest. One sec, let me quickly go back. I'm not going to go back too much just because I was doing the little intro there, but nice switch from like our CDM. I take it down. I just see the second player who at first looked like he was going to come tight, drop off. So I turn, beat the player. And then this cross here, man, I don't know how well you can see it, but our two white shirts are either a little bit longer, far, far back, or just front. So definitely could have done better than end product, but a good, good start to be fair. Uh, what we got next? Again, get the ball on the left wing. At this point, I'm just seeing what's up look to play one twos i've been trying to like mix my game up like beat players as well as combine we have some real tech oh this is annoying man oh boys this was like the most frustrating you can see right as soon me crossing that ball there in my head i already had like you've messed this up big time you can see i do here i do well to pressure the the fullback cut it in here the ball's kind of moving left which makes it hard because it's like in between feet i've either got to let it roll to the left and shoot Cut it back behind me or take them on on the inside. I look, I don't I do not really do anything. That's kind of poor for me there. But uh, it was really early in the game. I'd got in a couple of good positions already. So not feeling too negative. The ball in the end wasn't too bad, but it just wasn't perfect. You can see here me just trying to run in behind, trying to be a threat. I feel like, especially on Astro, bro, I can burn players a lot easier because your feet aren't slipping in the ground. And Jolly does well here, actually. Just the, the final bit. Anyway, take the ball down. Just shielding it. Maintaining. Again, I've tried to really be more consistent in my, the way I play. I want to affect the ball going forward, but I can't do it every time. You can see here, quick scan. Something else I've been working on. I don't know if you can even notice that from the video, but just scanning a little bit more as balls come into me. You can see there, just quick scan. I saw he was there. Saw Johnny. I tried to make the run, but I actually got blocked by the defender. And in the end, it's just unlucky, the final ball. Get the ball in the edge. I was excited for this. You'll see what happens, man. Like, it's, I've won a free kick, so people would say, oh, it's decent. But in my head, I'm just thinking I could have done more. And I think it's right here. Like, the player does really well. Because I'm running so fast to get up the pitch, it's not like I've slowed him down enough to knock it to the left. I mean, in this position here, you're thinking, just knock it to the left and run around him. But if you look at it in full speed, I honestly feel like if I did that, he'd block me off. And the defender on the left. Do you know what I mean though? Like, I took it round him, but I went too far right. If, I'd have been, if I was able to take it round him more naturally and without changing the, the direction too much. All right, this is the goal, boys. Another goal for your boy. Lovely. Get the ball on the edge, take on a few players. I was thinking about going down, actually, when one of their players came in. You might see it from this angle a bit better. Here. He comes in, but in the end, I decided to stay on my feet, which definitely was the best decision in the end. So, good to get a goal. This was another opportunity. I thought, honestly, we were going to score from this. I can't remember the build-up. I think I was involved in some way. In the end, nothing comes from it. Here's me getting the ball. Oh, do you know what? It wasn't bad doing doing this, but I, I feel really comfortable when players are like behind me and just like shifting their bodies and then creating a yard to then turn. So right here, I kind of create a yard just with the, the, the smallest of feints. Uh, but you'll see, instead of turning, I decide to pass back, but I think I could have turned here. But to be fair, there was no one on. Everyone was in the box. So I get the ball facing forward there. Oh, bro. I remember like right then I was going to drive into the space. I didn't know 100% if it was on because the player on my left was coming over. But we keep the ball. We're one up at this point. What have we got going on here? Cut inside. Oh, yeah, this is just poor, man. To be honest. Let's just go back, man. It's like I tried to walk through them without doing any sharp movement. Do you know what I mean? In slow motion. To be fair, that player does well to get his body. And that player was quite lively, actually, to be honest. In the end, yeah, lose the ball, so not the best. Get the ball on the left wing again here. Looking to combine and run. 
in there, the centre in the end, the centre back does really well, gets in front. But good idea. Me just chasing down. This got given as a free kick. Is that really a free kick? I don't know, man. What do you think? Let me know. You can see me. I'll just put on the burners here. I'm coming. I kind of go wrong side, to be fair. Oh, man. Would have been in to square someone. Or shoot. This is, I'm on corners, by the way, here. So one of the corners is front post. Uh, the ball does come back out to me. Actually, no. Yeah, I messed up the edit on this, so you have to re rewatch it. But the same play, front post, nearly score, ball comes back out to me. And I just put it on my left and just load the back post. It's a good ball, man. Their centre-back was one of those older players in non-league, you know, that's got loads of experience. You can see it there. Another corner for me. Okay, so this is me. I've been switched to left wing back here. I'm pretty sure, but you can see, I, again, I try and put these clips in each video just to show like my work ethic. It's really hard, to be honest, but I ran, in, I ran myself into the ground this game. Kind of is just like a minimum for me. We're getting towards the end of part the end of part of the game already. I can't lie to you, second half was a lot quieter, just how the game was. I went to left wing back, was just running up and down, offering offering options. This is me just putting in a, a tackle, a block. To be honest, I actually enjoy playing left wing back. I feel like I've got the engine to go all game, to run up and down, and I enjoy having the game in front of me. I feel like 1v1 defending, I'm pretty good as well. You can see how I get it here, break forward. Again, this is another one, I just take it, I don't commit him, I take it round anyone, but in the end we keep it actually leads to another goal so currently we're one up and this makes it two so that was a really big goal uh getting involved in the cellos that was nice again you can see him here just left left back just 1v1 defending i actually feel a really confident 1v1 defending man and getting beaten behind doesn't happen the one thing i'd say that i'd have to work on is in the air i feel like i'm good at holding the ball up but when it's the other way but there we go. Fiver, cheers. But boys, that is the highlights. Please let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are. I'm really enjoying my foot at the minute and we're going to be uploading a lot more videos. Again, if you haven't already, come over to the Twitch. I'll be live streaming literally. The likelihood is I'll be live streaming right now. So click the link in the description. We've been running games with CP. Uh, get involved. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.